This is how you work with groups in Adobe Illustrator. So on our artboard, we're gonna have some shapes out here. Now, if you don't have any shapes on the artboard, again, we can go to our rectangle tool in our tools panel. We can drag out three objects. You can drag out as many objects as you like. It's not really that relevant. As long as you have more than one, you're fine. So let's change the color on some of these. Again, in the lower left, you can click and double click on your fill color, change it. And let's maybe give this a cyan. Now, a lot of the times, uh, the major thing that you wanna do when you use groups is for the purpose of keeping like items together. Things that either you want to move at the same time or that you want to just, I guess, almost like group as if you have a, a folder or something like where there are sections that are relevant to one another. Like if you have certain colors or if you have certain things that are like shading or a highlight, whatever the case may be, it can be anything. Uh, if you wanted to group rectangles or squares, but the major important part is it keeps them together to a point where if you were to move one, they all move at the same time. Now, notice if you were to click one of these and you move it, nothing else is going to move. You have the option of selecting them all and moving it, but that can get tiresome because you're also going to have to select it every time that you do that. And one of the things you want to do is you want to select all of these and if you're on a Mac, it would be Command-G, or if you're on a Windows computer, it would be Control-G, and it will actually group your items together. So now when you select one of them, you'll notice that they all are selected, and if you move one, they all move. And if you want to individually, which people might be curious about, to actually edit these items again, you have the option of double-clicking this group and you'll notice that the area around your window gets grayed out and this allows you to then select and move the items individually because you're within that subset and you'll notice it here in the top left of your window where it says group and it says current isolated group when you hover over it so that's how you know you're inside the way to get out is to either double click or hit escape and you're back to your general group move it around again or if you want to ungroup these items you can control shift G or command shift G depending on whether you're on a Windows computer or a Mac and then your items are on group. And this is how we work with groups in Adobe Illustrator.